Hi, it's Jennifer with Jennifer at Home. My husband, Alan, and I would love to show you just how easy it is to change out a first alert smoke detector. Okay, so we think we've got a defective smoke detector. This happened to us one other time. And when you open it up inside, and we'll see that, if it gives you three to five beeps, it's not just the battery that's gone bad. The, de the smoke detector is defective and we'll have to replace it. So let's take it out. First thing you do is you have to get a ladder and climb up to the ceiling. Most smoke detectors are hardwired now. So you've got to give it a turn. It's going to come out and then there'll be a wiring plug on the back. And you basically just unplug it. And then we'll have to go to your local store, Lowe's or Home Depot, for example, and we'll replace it. And they're about $20. So when I was on the ladder, I mentioned that it would tell you if there's something wrong. So you see right here, it's ours started out with three chirps per minute, malfunction, replace alarm. Now we're at five chirps per minute, end of life, replace alarm. So we'll run to the store and we'll pick up another one. Here's another hint. This might beep again on us because it has a battery backup. There's a nine volt battery in there. So it's gonna keep beeping to tell us, there we go, to tell us that it's at its end of life until I open it up and take that battery out. So as I mentioned, this will keep beeping until we take the battery out because it has a battery backup. So there's a little latch right here. So you just press in on the latch, the little door opens, and then you just pull out the nine volt battery, which is the common battery in almost all smoke detectors. And now this one is done and we can replace it. When we go to the store, we'll look for the contractor version. It's in a different box and we'll film that when we go to the store and show you the difference because if you buy the actual first alert one, they're 70 or $80, but you can actually get a first alert smoke and this one's actually a carbon monoxide detector as well. And you can get it for about $30 if you buy the contractor box. It's just not as a fancy packaging, that's all. Here's the comparable one right here, and it is $60.98. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick unboxing on the smoke detectors that we got uh, at Lowe's. We'll quickly put them together, make sure everything's good, and then we'll do the installation. They come in the box, they've got a cover in case you're doing some other some other work uh, and you need to cover them up for dust. They also come with a new wiring harness, but since ours are already hardwired, we won't need that. And they also come with the, the plate that mounts to the ceiling. But since we already have that on there, we won't need that. So we'll just set that aside. And basically you pull the tab Open this up, pull the tab. It's got the battery in there already. So it is ready to go. All we have to do is take it into this, to the uh, hallway and we'll install it. They also had, over at Lowe's, they also had the regular smoke detectors, uh, one for each bedroom. That's, the, that's standard code. So since they're all about the same age, we haven't had any problems with the other ones yet, but we just decided since they were only $14 a piece, why go through this? There again, same procedure. We won't need the plate. We'll just take that off, put it back in the box. Once everything, I know everything's good, we can recycle that. Open the little door, take out the tab, and we'll just take it right in, climb up the ladder, and do the installation. And it's just that easy. Same process as before, just unplug it, 
wire only really goes in one way. Make sure the light's on. Yep, green light right there. And then once we get them all installed, we'll test them. And since they're all hardwired, they're all synced together with the house's electrical system. So when you hit the test button on the combo ones out in the hallway, they will, that's combo for smoke detector and carbon monoxide, they'll all sync at the same time and then they'll all run together. And you wanna do yourself a favor. Make sure you take the battery out of that old one because otherwise it's gonna keep trying to run and you might throw it away, you might say put it in the garage if you're going to save it. Probably not since we declutter around here. But it'll start going off as soon as the battery gets weak and you will be chasing it around the house wondering where that noise is coming from. Uh, and that's just the residual power that's still in, in the circuit board. But it'll stop any second. It's always a great idea to mark your calendar so that right after the first of the year, you can go through and change out the batteries in your smoke detectors. There's nothing worse than hearing that horrible, annoying beep in the middle of the night warning you that your smoke detector batteries have gone low. going to do now is we're going to run the test and that will sync all of these up. It's going to get loud. Okay, something I found out just a second ago when we did the test and we held the button on the combo detectors it synced the two of them together, and normally it syncs all of them, but I noticed that the green light was flashing on the new smoke detectors. So I went into one of the bedrooms, pushed and held the test button, and then it synced the three of those. So now all five are synced. I wanted to make sure I mentioned that just in case anybody followed these instructions and wondered, well, wait a minute, my they all five didn't sync at the same time. So you may have to do that as well. I think probably an electrical thing with the houses that are different. So always remember to push the test on at least one of them and let it get synced up. I'm so glad you joined us for this video today. I would love for you to hit the thumbs up button and also the subscribe button if you haven't already. And be sure to click the bell icon so that that way you'll get a notification every time I have a new video coming out.